Hello everyone, my name is Regina and welcome to my channel. A while back I purchased a bronzer palette from Essence and you guys know how much I love bronzers. But it just made me more curious about the brand. So I picked up some newly released items from Essence. I purchased them at Ulta. So, so if you're interested in seeing what I got and how they perform, stay tuned. So the first product we're gonna talk about would be the blush. Now this blush is $2.99. It's called Believing and it's a dusty mauve rose. So this is Believing, a dusty mauve rose. So this blush is definitely what the description says it is. It's buildable, silky smooth, and it gives you that natural flush. Sometimes when you do dip into powder products, they can be really powdery. And this is definitely not it. So this is a really good product. It's $2.99, extremely affordable. And this is definitely a yes for me. I did pick up um, a few more colors in the blush a while back that I have not used yet. But Dusty Mauve is like my favorite blush to wear. Next, we're going to talk about the Define 24-Hour Essence Mascara. I know a lot of people are picky when it comes to mascara. Uh, for me, as long as the mascara gives me volume and separation, it's a win for me. And this definitely does that. So here's the wand. It's a wider wand. It, it really depends on the individual. Like, I don't mind a wand like this or one that's like slim. It doesn't really matter to me as long as it gives me the results that I'm looking for. I did use two coats of this mascara and it did not leave my lashes looking clumpy. This mascara is $5.99 and it's called 24 Ever Bold Value Mascara. It says bold eye look for 24 hours, which I probably won't try. <laughs> 24 hours is a very long time, so we're not testing that. Um, the formula is enriched with hemp seed oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil for an eyelash conditioning treatment with each swipe. Hmm, interesting. And I can definitely say that my lashes feel soft. They don't feel like hard touching them. It gives me, this mascara gave me separation. It gave me volume and it did smudge very slightly and that's probably how I tilted the wand, but I really don't have any complaints about this mascara. I personally, for me, I think it's a good mascara. Again, I know a lot of people are particular about their mascaras, but this one was a win for me. On the right side, I did use the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer, which is really good. It is $4.99. Um, it says it's, this is not a new product, but you know, I figured I'll talk about it since everyone can use a lash primer that's affordable. Instantly increases the volume of any mascara, which is good. Infused with acai oil and mango butter for nurtured lashes. So I intentionally use the lash booster on the right side of my eye because the lashes on the right side, they struggle a little bit and they need more volume. So when I use this booster, it definitely gave my eyelashes more volume. I really did like this and I think I actually might, I'm for sure, I'm gonna replace this with my more expensive lash primers. So this is definitely a yes. Let's talk about the lipsticks. Now, these lipsticks are beautiful. I absolutely enjoy these lipsticks. The packaging is nothing exciting. Comes in this black packaging with the E at the bottom. The shade number's at the bottom. The sticker matches the shade of the lipstick. And it's not heavy, pretty light, really simple, really basic. They are creamy. They just make my lips feel nourished. And I do have dry lips, probably because I need to drink more water. Guilty. Guilty. But they are just really creamy. And the, the, colors, are, the colors are vibrant. Let me swatch this one. This is number four. Just really bold, pigmented. I just, they're beautiful. Now these are $3.99. For the shade number four is called Naive. It's supposed to be a red nude. An interesting take on a red nude. It's long lasting color in one swipe. Comfortable and lightweight. Agreed. Formula that doesn't dry out the lips. And I can agree with that. I've been wearing this for about an hour, uh, number four Naive. And it's comfortable and it does feel creamy and I I think it's a beautiful lipstick. It's a win. This one is definitely a yes. It's a win. And number three. When I initially saw this, I was not sure if the shade was going to work for me. And it definitely did. So it's a beautiful everyday shade. 
If you like creamy lipsticks that are lightweight, these are good. They're only, what, $3.99, and these are vegan and paraben-free. The lipstick does get on my teeth. I have been wearing this lipstick for an hour, and I do feel like if I'm eating or drinking, I mean, look, I'm going to have to reapply it. So, long-lasting, I don't know how long they expect this lipstick to last but but formulas i think is beautiful if you're eating or drinking i would reapply it but yeah this is a win for me all right guys that wraps up the video i hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button like and comment and i'll see you in the next one bye